Hi besties, and welcome to my channel. Yesterday I built three apartment units, each one with two apartments, one at the first floor and one on the second floor. And today we are decorating each one of the first floor apartments. And they came out so beautifully. So with that being said, let's jump into this video. Now, I really do try and make each of these apartments look and feel different. And I really feel like I achieved that. This one is my least favorite, the first apartment. But I knew it was going to be my least favorite because I attempted to do something that I absolutely hate. And that is a white and blue beach house. I personally... I'm not a fan, I'm not going to say what I feel like it is, because you might like it and I do not want to offend you, because this is not what this channel is about. We are kind to people, but we all still have our own personal tastes. And personally, I am not a fan of <laughs> a blue and white beach house. It's just so generic. I also saw on TikTok someone plays those this trash can, the one that gives you money, raise it up into the cabinet and then it kind of looks like a cutting board and you can just drag your food into it and still make money. And I thought that's really cool. So I kind of add that in every single apartment. I became a little bit obsessed. A little bit obsessed. We also got a new update yesterday which is quite exciting i already finished this build i was actually busy editing it when the update came out i was going to post this last night but we have load shedding here so i really do apologize and when i was finished editing this it was load shedding and i went to bed because i was really tired so yeah this is why I am going to post this quite early this morning, so you are going to see it. It's going to be like afternoon for me, early afternoon. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> this is like the spare bedroom. I really had the idea of this being a vacation home and or like an Airbnb. This is maybe like something that you rent out, but it's definitely not... People don't live here all the time. So you will see that I do not use a lot of plants in this particular build. I also don't add, like, any paintings except for those underwater photographs. But I go in at the end and then I just add them. Well, at the end of me doing this build. Um, <laughs> this apartment. And, yeah, so all of the plants that are in here, I kind of have this feeling that they are, like, fake... I don't know. I just really wanted this place to be very, very generic. So this is now the main bedroom. The shape of this bedroom is really weird. And in the beginning, I was kind of confused as what am I going to put next to the door, especially with all of the builds. But we do figure it out. And I end up using and utilizing this entire bedroom in every build. And it's just amazing. I actually really like the way that this main bedroom came out. I like the faux fireplace. I added that little heater in there, kind of as a, this is an electric fireplace. That was the vibe that I was going for. And I think it's really, really cool. I also just pair all of the tiles. Well, I make it this very dark navy blue, which contrasts with all of the light blue that we have in this house. And I think the house just needed that little bit of a change that little bit of a darker mood i mimic the bathrooms like kind of exactly and then i give this beautiful partner's shower which is really cool and i absolutely love it i use that divider from university it's actually dirty but we can just imagine that it's like stained glass because it just fit perfectly in there none of the other dividers did that I was not vibing with them as much as I was vibing with this one. So you can see I'm just going around and I'm just adding those photographs. We, well, I decide to put like these pebbles on all of the patios at back. I think it looks really cool. And then I just generically decorate this. I wanted to put a bar in, but there just wasn't a space. So unfortunately, this vacation home, there's no bar. 
I also add this laundry area into every single one. This is the laundry room. I do change up the layouts of every one. And that was what was so fun about this. I just loved figuring everything out. Now, this apartment is my favorite. I started off with this orange fridge. And I was like, okay, let's make this orange fridge work. This kitchen took me forever to get the layout. So you're going to see it change quite a lot. Round about here, I was, okay, let's put it in the middle. Let's make an island. But there wasn't really space to walk past. So I pushed the island against the wall, which does make you feel a little bit uncomfortable because of this massive space behind it. But I kind of felt like it worked. And once I turned those cabinets green, I was screaming. I was obsessed. I was just feeling every vibe of this house. And I was living. I love the way this house came out. I love this duck blue, like, color that we go with. It's like an egg color. It's very beautiful. And then this tile... It's just stunning. So I place the normal yellow tile from the Maximist kit. And then I like control F to get squares, half tiles. And then I just actually just add the rest of the colors to it. And it just looks amazing and it brings everything together. This apartment for me is like an eccentric artistic person that lives here with their child. In my head, it's a single parent. I just know. Oh, <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> but it was really cool. I had this idea that this was like, I don't know, the person got divorced and they got the apartment. But they just really, really expressed themselves. And it's just amazing. I am just obsessed with this apartment. I put this wraparound curtain effect all around the living area and then we go in with some hanging plants. I decided that my main colors are going to be this red and green mixed with the orange and yellow. That kind of takes it away and it doesn't look like a Christmas build because red and green together it can very easily become very Christmassy. But thankfully to this blue and this like, well, this grayish blue color, it really takes away from that mixed with the yellow. And I was also able to use all of my favorite paintings that I can never use because they are just too out there for the builds that I do. And that in and of itself was just amazing. It was just amazing. So they are at the cutting board. Also decided we are going to have two animals here. This person just looks like an animal lover. We need more animals. <laughs> and keeping with the animal theme, I added this little rodent to the kids room. I hardly ever play with the My First Pet stuff. I think that is what it is. Even though I really like that pack, I do feel like it is a big cash grab and it should have been added with cats and dogs. But yeah, it is what it is. It has some cool things. So let's just use it. I own it. Why not build with it? And this bedroom is just so cute. It looks so personal. I add this little desk area. I also decided to run with the pink theme here because the pink is in that rodent station. The window panes are pink. And then with the yellow mixed with the blue, it just came out absolutely perfect. And I just, I don't know, I just felt this warmth after I finished this bedroom. After I finished this apartment, nothing could compete with this. This apartment is just everything for me. I then make, turn this other bedroom into like a studio. So you see that I did remove a couple of things like the closet here. I removed, I changed part of the bathrooms made the family bathroom a one big bathroom. I just wanted to make small little changes in the home, kind of just so that it isn't complete copy of the previous one, just with some different decorations, which it basically is, but still. And unfortunately, the main bedroom, I couldn't really get different layouts that I wanted. I also don't know why I wanted to add black curtains. It was just a bit much. I end up going with these yellow curtains because it matches the curtains on the side of the bed. 
really well and I think it looks really cool. Also, a little bit of a side note, I have never used that swatch of the doors, this red with like the yellow border. I don't know why. I really don't know why because I'm just obsessed. Just look at this little image here, just the shot. How cool is this? How beautiful does that not look? I would probably not be able to live in it myself because I think I would have a massive headache, but I would definitely rent it. I will definitely rent this place. I then also just changed the window. I know that's not really something that you can do, but we can just pretend that the building itself is like that. I also changed the upstairs window just to make it kind of match. And then I go in with this fake grass wall, which I just think looks absolutely stunning. I add this little ball of light that came with the growing together pack and it just brought everything together. This is also the only bathroom that isn't a direct copy, where every bathroom is the same, except for the tilings that we use. But I try to go in with different, like, bathtubs and toilets and zincs and things, just to make it feel a little bit different. I feel like the person that lives here, they are not very much into, like, normativity. But yet, I still feel like they are very cohesive. And they have clearly a lot of style, in my opinion. And also, just look at how perfect that bathtub matches these walls. I was screaming. It, it's just amazing. I was obsessed. <laughs> we do our little laundry. As I said, each one has a laundry. The only part about this apartment that I didn't like or wasn't vibing with is the patio area. I don't know why I decided to go for like a lighter feel with it, but I do go off camera and I do change it and I do make it warmer so that it matches this apartment more. I will show that at the end of this when we jump into the video. I also wish that this massive mirror, that that green swatch wasn't like, the paint wasn't coming off of it, but it's okay. I was still vibing with it. And then I just add those red mirrors, make the hallway a little bit bigger, but still keep the cool, funky red vibe that this home has. So you can see, I don't know why, I went with this light, vibey thing going on at the patio. It just doesn't make any sense. It... Mm, I warmen up that tent and then I also just change these swatches off the couches and I add a massive yellow rug and it looks amazing. This is the last apartment that we do in this video. The next one we are going to do the upstairs but I think I have mentioned that. So this one I wanted to go for a very sleek, very modern feeling, a lot of wood tones mixed with white and then accents of a very light green. I try to kind of incorporate every single apartment, like the outside of it, in indoors, kind of just make it feel a little bit more cohesive. And I think I did it in a way that actually works. I'm not too sure if I'm going to go with that theme when I do the upstairs. Thanks to my friend, Kat's um, Coffee Chaos, I was able to get my Sims 2 working last night. So that's exciting. So the next video is going to be me building in The Sims 2, the same home that I... You know, I want to build the same home in every Sims game. Sims 1, 2 Sims 4, I've already done The Sims 1. I will link that video up here for if you have not seen it, it was really cool. But yeah, so the next video is going to be me building in The Sims 2, and then the video after that we will come back and we will finish up this apartment. If you are also wondering about my Let's Play and why I haven't posted anything on that, I am starting to stream. Um, from next week it's going to be like daily streams. So I want to do my Let's Play in there. Editing Let's Play takes a long time. And unfortunately, with the load shedding that I have, sometimes we only have four hours of light a day. It's really bad. South Africa is honestly going down the drain. And it's super emotional. Like, we can't even keep meat in our freezer anymore because our lights go off for four hours at a time. It's... It's insane. So unfortunately, I just don't have the time to edit Let's Plays. So I am going to 
stream it. I think that's going to be a lot easier. It's going to be fun. And it's going to give me something to do in The Sims except for building on a stream. I'm also going to stream different games like Animal Crossing, maybe some Resident Evil. Um, <laughs> definitely Stardew Valley. I've never played Stardew Valley before and my partner bought it for me. So I'm really excited. I've been keeping it so that I can play it on stream. I know I'm going to be absolutely obsessed and it's probably going to take over my life. So why not just take it over on Twitch, you know? So here you can kind of see the, back to the build, there you can kind of see the type of parents that we have here. This is a very rich, new, you know, they just had a baby, it's an infant now, but they are also musicians, and I feel like kind of a little bit selfish. So one of the parents, they really love music, and they were like, they're not going to give the baby the room with the beautiful view, like the previous parents. The baby can have the middle room. There's still a window. They're not going to suffer. But we cannot sacrifice our art, you know? So that's why they kept that their music room. That was the idea that I was going for this. These are very pretentious people that love you. And I'm living for it. I had such a fun time, like, <laughs> creating these families in my head as I was building these apartments. And I got so angry at some points, especially building this one. I was like, ah, oh, you are such rude parents. I cannot believe that you are like this, even though they don't even exist. <laughs> So that was fun, and I really enjoyed that. I go to the main bedroom. This apartment is basically just Dream Home Decorator. It's like a sponsorship for Dream Home Decorator. And that's okay. It works. The first build also had a lot of Dream Home Decorator. They just have swatches that work. It's not my fault. It really isn't. But this is also, I don't know, like a small town, I guess. Well, not really. This is like San Francisco. But I feel like a lot of, of these bougie people just go to the same furniture store and buy the same furniture things. I changed this bathroom to like a glass panel door. And you can see that we go with a completely different layout here as well. I do add this bathtub, but I change it to the Dream Home Decorator one, and then we just go with Dream Home Decorator sings. I'm like, this is the vibe, this is real. I forgot to mention, though, with my streams, I am going to post them on YouTube as well. But it just will take a little bit of a while, you know? It's not going to be, like, an immediate thing, um, just to put that out there. And here we go to the main bathroom, and I just removed the one wall... I really like these little changes that just make every build feel unique. I didn't do a lot in their laundry room, and then I reused this cabinet. I used it in the bedroom, but it's just perfect, and I went through every single cabinet, and nothing worked. Nothing worked. And also, at this point, I've been building for quite a while, and I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? So I do add this bar... And just some seating. I'm also glad that I didn't decide to furnish all six rooms at once because I feel like creatively I just wouldn't be able to do it. Here we are back in the game and I just want to show off my apartments again because I think they look so cool. I absolutely love them. <laughs> I want to live in one with this view. Oh, imagine. But the cost. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so here we have our first floor plan. I'm just going to show them quickly next to each other so that I can just point out the changes. So in this one, we removed the closet, we removed that wall that goes in between this bathroom here, and I removed this little wall in the bathroom. I did the same on this side, but I kept the, the closet here, and then I just removed like half a wall there. So it's small little renovations that seem plausible and like logical for a build like this and I think it really works and I really like it. So going into our first house, this is our spare bedroom. This is like the kids bedroom. I added a TV quite low because I don't know what type of people are gonna live here. Maybe they want to like have some fun while the kids sleep and like I don't know maybe watch some movies at night. We don't know their lives. But, yeah. 
<laughs> and then this is the entrance, the... Well, ach, not the entrance. This is the living space slash kitchen slash dining. It looks really cool. It matches all of the blue. I would also never use these chairs, personally. I'm not a fan. But I think it really, really works with this build. It's just our main bedroom with the little lounge that... I don't know, maybe you just want to read something and just relax. My favorite build. <clears throat> I'm not going to go in detail through everything, but yeah, here we have the kids' bedroom, our little office space. I added some more lights because it was very, very dark. I love this flooring here. It looks so cool. This house just seems so playful and just so fun. I I love it. And this rug, this rug comes with the Growing Together pack. And isn't it just absolutely amazing? It also matches perfectly with this couch that came with the Paranormal pack, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see this is what I meant with I actually just warmed everything up. I went with this flower pattern, which I feels like really matches with this house. And then I went with this Christmas-themed tent, which is just absolutely ridiculous. But I love it. I love it. This is the last build that we saw. This one I'm really not going to go into much detail with because we literally just saw her. I'm just going to point little things out like how amazing this room is and how I would absolutely love to have a room with this. This off yellow just makes everything pop and for some reason it feels so modern even though the color scheme is just so oh mid-century <laughs> and you all know if you've been on my channel how much i love a mid-century build it's just there's just something about it i also love these wooden details i feel like it takes away a lot of you know like unnecessary wall spaces and the need to actually fill up those walls i also just really love this narrow little spot here we use my absolutely favorite little stools these are the cutest things these are like absolutely adorable i feel like i am going to have to get them custom made for myself because i just need it i just really need it in my life thank you so much for coming on this little decorating journey with me please leave a comment down below let me know which one is your favorite i would really love to know and with that being said if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads, and then I hope to see you all again soon with a Sims 2 build. <laughs> bye bye And again, I just want to say thank you to my bestie, Cats Coffee Chaos. Without you, I would still be struggling. My life would still be... A massive, massive struggle. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate you so much.